we've all experienced what happens when we exercise. Uh, their heart rate may change. And uh, we have quite a few labs that use a heart rate monitor, like this one, that allows us to quantify what happens to our heart rate. Um, and it looks a lot like maybe one that you've seen before, uh, maybe at the gym, on a treadmill, or something like that. And it's the same basic device. The way it works is that um, it amplifies the voltage difference that occurs across your hands when your heart beats. So there's a polarization, and every time that happens, it can count that, and that's how the device actually works. Now, I have it connected right now uh, to the iPad, and if you'll notice down here, that's a current reading of my heart rate, and it may have actually gone up since I started, because as I started to talk, usually your heart rate goes up when you talk. When you exercise, it goes up. I mean, when you stop exercising, it goes down, and so that's the way it works. So it's, it basically, if I hit collect, it's just collecting um, the data over time and you set it for a long period of time. The data set that we're going to look at is actually from our middle school book. It's heart rate and exercise. And if we look at the data there, uh, we can see that on this part of it, this is where you're just standing still. And so they stand still for about 100 seconds. So we're talking a little over a minute there. And then they start to exercise, and then they stop exercising, and it goes down. And so for this particular lab, the idea is to look at what happens to your heart rate uh, when you exercise. Now let's take a look at how you might examine that data if you wanted to get the rates here. So let's say that I came over here and uh, I could just examine different points along there to get the heart rate. I could come up here and examine that value and so it goes up to 115 if you can't see that one and I come down here and maybe it gets down to 82. Uh, another way to analyze this may be to look at statistics and so what if I say well here's my section of the data when I'm standing still and I want to come in and maybe get an average value there so the mean is 76 beats per minute there and then I could come up here and I could do the same thing I could come in and maybe highlight a region and it's a little bit narrower there when I'm exercising and come in and uh, do some stats there and then maybe I come back after uh, recovery and we look at what's happening there and so there are several uh, experiments that uh, end up utilizing this sensor. And uh, so if you're trying to look at physiology and heart rate, this is a good way to do it.